please ignore the dirty car. And it's donation day! All of this stuff, oh, well, it went kind of flying, but it's all getting donated, including the suitcases. Hey guys, welcome back, Adriana here. Today is Vlogmas Day 7, and it is donation day. So all those clothes that I pulled from my closet and my dressers the other day, I am donating today. Let's do it. Also, for Vlogmas Day 7, we have continuation of the Christmas earrings. Some bells on some, I don't know what you would call this, but it's very Christmas. Donation. Damn it. Here we are. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so don't buy the Oh, tail. wow. You have so, so much stuff in here. We are allowed to get the compactor right there, so we're just waiting for the wow. space gap. Organized. Where should uh, should just roll it in? So anything new goes all the way to the back as much as we can squeeze back there. All the way to the back. Oh. All, all you. you, all you. Just tell me like a little bit like what your organization is and where everything kind of goes. Okay. <laughs> introduce yourself. Yes, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rebecca Carter. This is home to homes, part of it. Um, we started about six years ago and we became an official nonprofit 501c3 in 2017. Um, our mission is all about dignity, so we accept donations of clothing, household items, basically everything except for food and large furniture. We primarily are partnered with Smock South Middlesex Opportunity Council, which has federal and state funded monies for Head Start and WIC, and they run all the local shelters. So we primarily serve shelters in and around Framingham, but we also serve Ashland residents who are homeless or low income, Framingham residents, and on an as needed basis. For example, there were uh, fires recently in local communities and people actually reached out to us to help them because they know the quality they're getting we're all about dignity, so things really do have to be in great, great condition when it comes to clothes, shoes, sheets, bedding, all that good stuff, towels, and then of course pots and pans are really big. So basically when people come into the shelter with nothing, they're starting fresh. So the shelters themselves need things, and then when they do get their housing, they're starting fresh as well. So when they leave, they need all those basic necessities as well. So. Awesome. That's us in a nutshell. <laughs> cool. So if people want to donate, how can they get in touch with you? We're very active on Facebook, which is home, H-O-M-E, the number two, H-O-M-E-S. And then we do have a website, which is hometohomes.org. And just email, which is H-O-M-E-T-W-O, homes, at gmail.com. Awesome. So thank you, Rebecca, so much. Happy to donate, and hopefully we can get some more people to bring some stuff by. Thank you so much. Awesome. This is awesome. So that's donation day. Rebecca from Homes to Homes, thank you so much for giving us a place to bring my stuff and know that it's going to go to a good cause. So that's it for Vlogmas Day 7. I'll make sure to link all of the information if you want to get in contact with Rebecca and Homes to Homes to donate. If you have stuff, they can always take more. Make sure it's in good condition. Um, that is all. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post next. Bye.